Hi, today we'll finally talk about bitters. What are they? Why do we use them in cocktails? And should you make your own? But first, we received the package from Botanica. So that means it's unboxing time. Botanica was founded in 2016 in Croatia with the goal of raising the quality of the bar scene in the region. They offer a variety of high quality dry spices and dehydrates. So let's see what we've got. Dear Kevin, thank you for running with us through our poster. Take a break with this 10 pack we're sending you. Cheers, Botanica team. Thanks Botanica. And thank you for featuring me on your campaign of bartender cartoons. I'm honored to be in the company of bartenders like Pat Birdie, my Greek friend Nick, my Slavic brothers Philip, Michel and Philip, and all the other great people working in our industry. We also received a booklet with additional information on all of their products. They also show you many options to use these products in signature cocktails created by the bartenders they worked with. Mine is a gin fizz made with Persian pink rose buds and hibiscus called the Persian fizz. Featured right next to the hotline daiquiri by my friend Simon Kotziper. He did a similar unboxing on his YouTube channel, so I'll post a link in the description. On to the goodies. We got a jar of dehydrated apples. These were great as decoration in cocktails, ciders, mulled wine or even on desserts. I think this is Granny Smith. There's more inside this can. Nice. Lemon. Lime. Orange. Grapefruit. Juniper berries. Pineapple. Mango. Pear. And Persian pink rosebud. We know where to use that. Awesome. Botanica products are suitable for professionals, lovers of mixology, gourmands and people who enjoy high quality products. So we know that one great way to use their products is as garnishes in your favorite cocktail. For example, a Negroni. A dehydrated orange is a great choice. Cheers! Another way to use their spices or even dehydrated products is to make bitters. So let's talk about bitters. What are bitters? Bitters are to cocktails but spices to food. They add complexity and flavor to the final product without adding too much volume. Physicians made them as a remedy for digestion problems as far back as 1700s. They're made with a variety of aromatic herbs, spices and fruits to give the desired flavors with barks and roots added as bittering agents. As you know from our videos, we use them in dashes. That's because unlike bitter liqueurs like Campari or Jägermeister, these bitters are considered to be non-potable because of their overpowering flavors. A dash goes a long way. Like we mentioned in our old-fashioned episode, Bitters are one of the four ingredients in the original cocktail recipe published in 1806. The most popular and well-known bitters are the aromatic bitters from House of Angostura. First created in 1824 by a German doctor Johann Siegert in the town of Angostura in Venezuela. The production moved to Trinidad in 1875, where it's still made today. The iconic oversized label is said to be an accident by the founder's sons one designing the bottle, while another son designed the label. And while the contemporary cocktail market is full of different brands and flavors of bitters, Angostura is still the most widely available. No Old Fashioned or Manhattan is complete without it. As their global brand ambassador says, two big boy dashes make a huge difference. What about making your own bitters? I've been making a variety of bitters for the last couple of years. With flavors such as chocolate, 
lavender, coffee and walnut, spruce tips and of course orange being the ones I use the most. They add a slightly bitter citrus note, which goes really well in a lot of cocktails. So I'll share a recipe for you to try making them at home. These are the ingredients we'll use. Pause and write them down. Go to the Botanica website to get a dehydrated orange. You'll also need dried orange peels, cardamom seeds, dried lemon peels, fresh organic orange peels with the white meat removed, clove, coriander, and the bitter agents, gentian and quinine. To extract as much flavor and aroma from the botanicals as possible and to work as a preservative, we'll need a high proof spirit. Since this is hard to come by where I live, I use chemistry to bump up the alcohol volume. Vodka is usually preferred option for making bitters because of its neutral taste. But for these orange bitters, we'll use light rum. To make it high proof, we'll add 96% alcohol neutral grain spirit in the ratio of 3 to 1. We are aiming for alcohol content of around 55%. Calculate alcohol amount of the mixture. I use an online calculator at Planet Calc web page, which is linked in the pinned comment below. Now, make sure to label your jar. Add the date, the type of bitters you're making, and the alcohol content. Leave it sitting at room temperature for two weeks and agitate the jar daily. After leaving it for two weeks, Strain out the liquid. Completely drain out the botanicals and then cook them in water for 5 minutes and leave them to cool. After straining that water, use it to reduce the alcohol content of the bitters down to 45%. Again, use the online calculator. The last addition, 10 ml of the Marala Simple Syrup. Mix and let it settle for at least 2 days. After that, strain it through a coffee filter. And what you end up with are your very own homemade orange bitters. Ready? For an old-fashioned like no other. Let me know if you tried making your own bitters and how they turned out. You can always hit me up on Instagram or Facebook with any questions about mixology. To finish our episode about bitters, we'll take a shot of Angostura. In some countries this is known as the bartender's handshake. And a challenge? The global brand ambassador of House of Angostura, Daniel Jones, to do the same. Cheers! I'll see you back behind the bar next Thursday with two cocktail recipes. When it's cocktail time. Was founded. Botanica was founded in 1916. I'll see you back behind the bars. Pom da ne, ona stari. To je magar narodno. Back behind the bar next Thursday with two cocktail recipes. Cheers. Ah, <laughs> Thanks for watching till the end and for your support so far. If you like this episode, share it with a friend. And as always, cheers. <laughs>